We know everybody's focused on the economy right now. And with that in mind, did you know that the controversial group ACORN, which is now under investigation across the country in some very important states, is, uh, receives some money from taxpayers, receives tax dollars, and lots of them go to ACORN right now. Some lawmakers, though, want the money to stop. John McCain took time out to address the ACORN scandal today on the campaign trail. Take a listen here. There are serious allegations of voter fraud in the battleground states across America. They must be investigated, and no one should corrupt the most precious right we have, and that is the right to vote. Our next guest has been an outspoken critic of the group ACORN. He says that the housing bill, now this bill was signed into law this summer, is actually a Trojan horse to funnel taxpayer dollars to groups like ACORN. Republican Congressman from New Jersey, Scott Garrett, joins us here in the studio now. Hi there, Congressman. Um, you know, one of the things that's been in the news and the sure. headlines today is that ACORN is under investigation in some very important battleground states this year. Apparently, uh, registering people to vote who perhaps don't live in the state, etc. But you're here today to talk about ACORN getting taxpayer dollars. Right. Explain how on earth a group that has a political agenda like that gets money from taxpayers. Yeah, well, and begin with, it's sort of ironic that uh, Obama was making the statements that he was just on there because Obama, of course, and this is maybe the October surprise for uh, the Republican Party and for the country as well, is his connection to ACORN and uh, he was one that was pushing the uh, market into giving these loans out to these uh, subprime areas. We've got and, a guest talking about that but, one later. But, but on how this group then gets the dollars is a couple ways. First of all, ACORN is made up of an organization of like 75 different organizations all connected to them. So you will never see in federal law ACORN's name listed down saying you get X number dollars. But those organizations all apply for federal grants and they are all connected. So that's one way that they get it. The other way is, of course, is the bill that you referenced just a moment ago that in July the House passed under Speaker Pelosi's leadership that says, and under Barney Frank's pushing. But the president signed it. He signed it. Un, un, but he, this was basically, he had to sign this in order to get the other bailout as far as the housing fund. So I didn't support it, but that's what happened. And Barney Frank put in there basically a tax on the middle class, again, American homeowners, to take out upwards to $500 million to go to groups such as Acorns, and these are not, supposedly nonprofit groups, supposedly not using for political purposes, but we all know that money is fungible, and they will be out there, as you've already said, doing these voter registration, and across the country, they're in trouble. How much money are we talking about that's, that's going to Acorn from our tax dollars? Well, that's a good question, and no, that there's the absurdity of it. Because no under way. the housing bill, it could be hundreds of millions of dollars, but they've been getting money in the past, too, correct? Right. They, there's, there's two lines, on budget and off budget. What you're talking about is basically off budget, and that's another question. Why did Congress ever do that? Basically saying the, a, a separate funds that does some, go through appropriators, upwards to four or five hundred million dollars. But on budget, no one knows. No one knows because, again, their name's not on it, but it could be tens of millions, hundreds of millions, because any worthwhile organization might have a nice name to it, but they can still be connected to ACORN, and that's how, of are course... There quickly, are there Republican groups that get money like this? Um, not that we're aware of. I mean, these are basically community organizing organizations that are out there that basically are aligned with the Democrat cause on. And they, one interesting thing to do is look at, see, on the housing aspect, to see where the highest foreclosure rates are, are probably in their areas where ACORN is listed. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there. Is Congress sure. going to do something about this to make sure that groups, whether they're on the left or on the right, aren't getting our tax dollars. I, I, well, I hope so. A number of us has re requested Barney Frank to hold hearings. He has refused to do so. And matter of fact, he's been one pushing to say, uh, keep on going with it. You're at the mercy. We're the at minority. the mercy of All the right, minority. Congressman Scott Garrett, thanks a lot. You've been following this one for thanks. years and years. We sure appreciate you appreciate joining it. us. Thank you. All right, well, we are not done with this story. Coming up, Stanley Kurtz, he just published an article called Planting the Seeds of Disaster, Acorn, Barack Obama, and the Democratic Party. He will explain his position. And fair and balanced, we will get a reaction from Barack Obama supporter, the DNC's senior advisor about this hot topic issue. Stick around. Conservatives cry voter fraud. Laura examines the scandal that has Republicans seeing red. Plus, inside racist accusations leveled against Sarah Palin. The Factor investigates.